Hi there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to learn how you can create quotes for your projects in Xero and then send them to your clients and then how you can invoice them from the quotes. This video is part of a full series on Xero projects. So if you want to learn more, check out the link to the playlist in the description below. So let's jump into Xero now and see how it's done. So what we'll do is we'll actually just create a new project in progress. And we'll just do it for 7-Eleven. And we'll call it build shelving and just pick a date for a deadline. Okay, and for this one, what we wanna do is put in an estimate of $5,000 and then create. Okay, so now we've got our project open with our estimate up here. So what we can do is we can create a quote from that estimate, so it's this project amount here. And you can just use the $5,000 that you've got in there if you choose estimate, or you can actually put in a custom amount as well. So we'll just use the estimate and the quote title, we'll just use the project name as well, just to keep it simple. So we'll just open the quote. Okay, so that's just taken us to a normal zero quote, which you can find if you go to business and quotes. So here you can see we've got the title there, build shelving, the customer, and we've just got the description down below with the $5,000 there for the job. So what we'll do is we'll just put an expiry date in of tomorrow's date. And then we, we just need to pick our general ledger code there. And I'll just save it as a draft. So normally you would send it to the client. So you'd email it to the client and then they would get an email and through that email, they would click on accept or reject. And once it's accepted, you can go ahead and invoice them from that. But we're not going to worry about that in our emailing our stage. We're just going to do it this way. So we'll just save it as a draft. Okay, so that's up there in our draft quotes now. We'll just go back into it. And we'll just pretend that we have emailed it. So we can just mark it as sent. And then we'll just mark it as accepted. So you can do this either um, in this demonstration um, just to um, do this instead of actually emailing it to yourself. But in real life, you can actually do this as well. If for example, the client has verbally accepted it and they don't want an email, you can just go ahead and mark it as accepted yourself. Okay, so now we have an accepted quote. I'll just go back to quotes and you can see it there in the accepted tab. So if we go back into the project Okay, so we should have a quote in there now that's accepted, great. So what you can do now is you can actually invoice them from that quote. So if we go to invoice and quote, and you can see there it's chosen that quote. If you've got multiple quotes for the same job, you can pick them from this list. And for this one, you can mark the project as complete and close it, but I'll just leave it open, assuming we haven't actually worked on it yet. So we'll just click on open invoice Okay, so that's just created a normal zero invoice, which you can find in the invoices uh, menu. So we'll just put a due date on it and we've already got the account in there. So we'll just click on approve. Okay, so now we've got that invoice ready for the client. We can just go ahead and email it if this was real life. But in this example, we'll go back to projects and we'll have a look at our project. Okay, so now you can see estimate five grand, invoiced five grand. And if we go to our invoices, we can see it's been sent or it's there awaiting payment. And then if we go to our profitability, you can see that that's come across as being invoiced. Okay, so that's one way you can do it. I'll just go back to projects and we'll just start another project. We'll just do 7-Eleven again. And this time we'll call it new doors. Okay, and we'll just pick a date. And this one, we actually want to calculate it from the tasks and estimated expenses. So we'll just hit create. All right, so we've got no tasks and no estimated expenses yet. So we'll just go and create them. We'll just do a task. So we'll just call this one install doors and we'll say it's gonna take five hours and $100 an hour, click on save. And then we need an estimated expense as well. 
and we'll just have this as the actual doors that we're going to install. So quantity one, uh, the unit price can be thousand dollars and we'll mark it up say 50%. So that will end up charging the client $1,500. So we'll click on save. Okay, so now we've got tasks and we've got estimated expenses. So we can actually create a quote from that. And there you go, that's pulled those through. And you can just choose how you want these to actually display on an invoice. Obviously, we've just got one of each, so it doesn't matter what we pick, but if you've got multiple items, you can go through and pick how you want them displayed. We'll just use the project name again and open the quote. Okay, so there's just another normal quote. We'll just put a date on there and we'll just put our codes in again, like so. I'm just using the sales code just to keep it simple. And again, we can just save it as a draft and we'll go back into it, mark it as sent and as accepted. Okay, so now we've accepted that quote. We'll go back into the project and that's the new doors. Okay, so now we've got that quote in there. So now we can invoice them from the quote. Okay, so let's just do it the same way we did last time. Pop a due date on it. Everything else is, is filled in correctly. It's just come straight off the quote. So we'll just click on approve. Okay, and back to the project. Okay, so there's our invoice. And if we go to profitability, you can see once again, we've invoiced the whole lot. Okay, so that's two ways that you can create quotes. You can either do it from that estimate or you can do it from your time and expenses or your tasks and expenses. And then you can send it to the client, they can accept it. Once it's accepted, you can then go ahead and invoice them straight from the quote.